Mohammed International Airport Command Read. have intercepted 2,863 ATM cards and SIM cards from a man traveling to Dubai. The items, which were concealed in a popular noodle carton, were uncovered upon examination at the check-in point. TVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. Being in possession of multiple ATM cards is not a crime. But when an individual moves around with several banks' ATM cards bearing different names, that then raises suspicion. That is the case with this suspect who got intercepted with thousands of ATM cards and SIM cards at the international wing of the Motala Mohammed Airport, Lagos. Customs operatives say they got alerted to his movement when they found that his luggage had a carton loaded with noodles and on closer inspection was discovered to be concealing an undeclared number of ATM cards and SIM cards. Officers decided to say, okay, somebody cannot just be carrying noodles and then taking it. So they decided to do a physical and thorough examination on, on the cart. They took my side, ripped it open, and this is what they found. What interested is why is he concealing them? He did not declare this thing as he's taking them out. And he's going out with them. And he's the only one in position of 2,863 ATM cards. These ATM, they are carrying money. Even though they are in plastics, but they are carrying money. And like he said, you are supposed to have ATM that is attached to your name. But having this gamut of ATM raises a lot of suspicion. The seized items and the suspects were handed over to officers of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission for further investigation. We are looking at uh, uh, um, allegation of um, foreign exchange malpractices, conspiracy you know individuals that uh, their names are involved in the sim cards as well as the accounts that are attached as well as the bankers themselves and and, and the banks that are involved we're going to thoroughly investigate the matter we're going to unravel what happened and anybody that is found wanting in this transaction is going to be prosecuted meanwhile Nigerians have been warned against selling their bank accounts to criminal-minded individuals who deploy them for fraudulent purposes. If Unanya Eze, TVC 